All right, welcome to part two out here at Whirlwind Cattail. Brian, what do you think of the course so far? Fantastic. I love now, this course. First time playing desert golf, right? Yes, sir. So I hope you're enjoying it. Anyway, thanks for watching part one. Shot even par on the front. And uh, let's see what we can do on this backside. But I'll be honest with you, we've hit this proverbial waiting wall, so we'll see how that affects us. Anyway, hope you enjoy the showcasing of the course. This channel is about being self-aware of stresses in your life, whether you're a first responder or whatever profession, human being, man, we all have it. So be self-aware of how it's affecting your life and uh, how I use the game of golf to decompress. So find an outlet for yourself and then and don't take shit out on your family. Nicole, how'd you say it? You kick, you kick, uh, you go, pet your dog? Don't go home and pet the dog and kick the kids. Yeah, so we got Nicole here. And beat the hell out of your husband. Yeah, that's <laughs> 22 year veteran, Phoenix Fire Department, yep. captain. So thanks for coming out and playing with the foundation Yay. today. Thank you for having me. Yeah, good times. Mm -hmm. Beautiful, look at that. Is that South Mountains or South Mountains over here? No, that's South Mountains. Okay, nice. Bunker. Did it? Yep. Yeah. It would have been pin high. This is gonna be a long clip. At this hole, a slight dog leg left. That tree just past that sign there, when you, I zoom in, you gotta be left of that or you go into the desert. So it's best to try to a little draw over these trees on the left. There you go. Good situation. It's gonna punch this back out to the fairway. <laughs> Dust in the eyes. All right, 155 into the wind here. Stay out there, darn it. All right, there's where my ball went down there.
Here he goes, old pro. All right. Oh, that's going to turn out good. It's a little toey, but it's going to I was going to say, it good. started off right and then went. Yeah, it's a little toey, but it's going to run. Downwind. Toey Boto Fuco. All right, folks, we got 205. I'll put a pin graphic up. Got a six iron. We'll see. Looks like it'll be pretty good. All right, she hit right here and didn't release, darn it. But still in a good spot. All right, 398, huh? There's no bunkers out there. Dog leg slightly right? It seemed like it there. Yeah, I think yeah, I see him. Slightly right. Well hit. That should be pretty good. Sorry, red ant. I think I squished him. All right, 153. This paint a little downwind. We got nine iron. on the green but long putt. Alright, 360 yards, beautiful hole, I guess the line is right over the bunkers because there's water left that will come into play there. In the first right hand bunker. Yuck. Which, you know. Hopefully you landed short of it. Beat party. Oh! Lost it. I'm right there with you. Nicole, that's one of those instances where I'm over the ball and I'm like, what am I going to do? Yeah. How do I, how am I, what am, I don't even know what swing I want to use on this one. Yeah. Let me use my crappy one. Yeah. There's mine. Ugly swing there, folks. All right. That's what I got. Let's see if I can zoom in for you. 151 from here. 151 from our cart there. So it's about 154 downwind. Good yardage, folks. Who hit that one? All right, this is for my boat. Oh, close. Do you want me to yeah, draw you, this to you? You can pick that one up. All right, folks, so I think I've hit the proverbial wall getting up at three in the morning traveling. Um, now we've been waiting pretty much almost every shot. You guys know how that is when you're playing golf. I had a good rhythm going on the front nine. 
we weren't waiting as much. Not to mention the guys behind us keep hitting into us. So it's not our fault we're waiting and you know they're probably pissed that I have the camera because a lot of people get pissed with it for some reason. So anyway, I'm gonna grind the rest of this way out and hopefully play some good golf for you. All right, stay self-aware, love y'all. Nicole got the yards, 126. Beautiful hole. Yeah. Not really into the wind, is it? No. You mean start it? I think it's going. If you want to double check that red dot on me, but I think it's going. Yeah. Come around. Beautiful. Thank you. Par four. I forget where it was. Four I can't remember. Good par. We'll give it to you. Let you start putting mine, all right? Shit, I'm having trouble on my own. <laughs> All right, 389 yard, par four, little dog leg to the right. These bunkers here, if you can get over those, like 249 to clear the middle ones. It's another wind a little bit to the left. Where are they? Yeah, they're up there. Beautiful. Told myself to swing easier and it goes just as far, if not further stupid game all right about 118 to this pin here all right brian pulled up to his 105 i was reading the sprinkler head so i'm gonna go with this 54 it's in the wind but i'm counting on this desert distance Dude, spin back. Nice. You didn't follow the shadow line. I didn't. All right, 515 yards, par five. Got to go left of these bunkers there. Beautiful, beautiful South Mountain in the background. Ready, all right. Just gonna go right over that bunker. Got a little Van Morrison in the background for you. Oh, it hit in it. Oh. Dang it. All right, 265 out. I'm kind of glad I didn't go in. I didn't go over the bunker. I'd be in the desert. So I got an eight iron. I'm going to lay up to 100-ish. Like that? One twenty eight to this pin. Come on. Yeah. 
We've got 128. Slightly into a wind. It's died down now. I'm going to choke on this pitching wedge. Oh, good miss, Not. So if you choke up, you hit it shorter? Yeah, like for every... That turned out well, folks. All right, overall, it was a good miss. Skinny in that pitching wedge up here. Yep, it just doesn't come off that, like I see. And there's... That slows us down. We're gonna have to speed us up. <laughs> Run it two times. I tried to kill that one. I didn't go to the right though. No. Did you stay in? I couldn't tell. I saw it bounce in, but it might have trickled out into the vomit desert. All right, I found turf to this pin placement. You gotta go up and over this tree, 175, he's saying. I think it's along this line, folks. Can't tell if it's a good line or not. All right, mine came up short in the bunker, so I'm just going to record it from here. Bogey. You want it in or out? You can keep it in, please. Okay. Pull out. Hey! Oh, oh nice. Marty ended. Very nice. Mine not found a squirrel. Yeah. It's so nice meeting you guys and playing with you. All right, folks. Thanks for uh, watching part two out of Whirlwind, the cattail course. We got on the road real quick, so I didn't want to do an introduction. I wanted to say bye to Nicole, who played with us, and, and just get going to the hotel. So, uh, wonderful golf course. Uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed me showcasing the course. And remember, stay self-aware out there. Stress is real for everyone. Don't let it take over your life. That's the goal of this channel, is try to help as many as we can with, with stress. So, uh, and how we use the game of golf to just decompress. So, love you all. Take care.